What up, it's NWP coming back at you with a new video and today we're going to be talking about something different and you know just odd for my normal course of videos. And that's going to be 5 ways that you can level up faster in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. But before we do that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell just next to it so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up, and if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. Additionally, if you check the description, you'll find a link to a giveaway where I'm doing a $50 giveaway in your favorite gaming currency, be it Steam, PlayStation, or Xbox. Now... <clears throat> We're just going to jump right into the topic and talk about five ways that you can level up faster in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And the first one, take advantage of double XP, be it codes or events, like double XP weekends. Now I get it, a lot of people don't want to spend money and go get XP codes, but you never know, you might have friends that don't play, family members that don't play, and a lot of people do drink energy drinks, so why don't you check around, see what you can do. I actually was able to find a few myself, just looking around Twitch and seeing people drinking Monster and being like, hey, can I have that double XP code? And they said yes. So that's one thing, but we've already also had a double XP weekend, so playing more during those weekends and just forcing through when you're having a miserable time is uh, another way you can level up faster be it not necessarily the greatest thing you can do with your time now that is probably the most obvious way that you can level up fast and i never said these are going to be the rarest ways and but there i did say that they are going to be tips to level up fast now on to our second tip here and that is challenges again a pretty obvious one but it seems to be that a lot of people don't really um think fully into what that means okay so there's a lot of challenges in the game and, and uh, some of them are very easy and some of them are not so easy obviously but some of them are so easy that you should be focusing on getting rank three as fast as you can and depending on what you're playing you know that can be the objective of the game mode or um you know streak of some sort or you know a weapon or attachment there's just so many different things you can focus on and do that it is highly suggested that you take the time and look through the challenges and see what you're close to completing every now and then don't you don't have to do it every single game or anything like that but want to take a look and see in the barracks what you got available to you that's coming up soon and that will help you level up a lot faster now tip number three your weaponry now, a lot of people actually don't seem to know this or don't seem to pay attention to this, but you can level up your favorite weapon because, yes, in reality, switching to an, a weapon that is not good, you're not good with, you're uncomfortable with playing with, whatever, it's just not your style of weapon, isn't really going to help you level up faster just because you're getting XP bonuses because you're probably going to be missing some kills and not going... Uh, you know as hard in the objectives as you normally would be with a weapon that you were good with so Level your favorite weapons three times because you can prestige them and then that gives you all of your challenges back and all of the XP bonuses So it is highly advised that you prestige your weapons now Of course if you're going for camos pay attention to what you're doing what weapon you're on if you prestige that weapon you might not be able to get a camo because you don't have your attachments unlocked and then you know you can't do the optic one now number four game mode now here's the thing okay it is not accurately fair in the game okay team deathmatch free for all and games of that nature and game modes of that nature actually do not offer the greatest um you know xp generation for a lot of factors okay one of the biggest ones is the only objective is killing other people. And you only get um, so many points for a kill and only so many points for multiple kills, etc., etc., etc. Now, you can get all of those, let's say, in Domination, plus points for capturing a, an objective, which you don't even have to be on for the in full time. You could just step on it and stay there for like 10% and get a good chunk of EXP for capping. And you, so... It's big time that you pay attention to the game mode that you choose. And it's highly advised that you learn to play the game modes properly or at least advantageously. 
And which this brings us to number five, play with small groups. Don't play in a, in a large group. A full five-man or six-man lobby is actually probably going to decimate the other team. And there's always going to be one or two, maybe even three people in the lobby that are not going to get as much XP. Maybe, you know, you are got 20 kills and one death or no deaths even, or even when on a nuclear streak. But you could have gotten, you know, the 50, 60 bomb. You could have been on the objective a little bit more or something like that. But there was just nothing to do. So you actually want the game to be active as possible. And that would mean a two- to three-man party is probably going to net you the most activity in a lobby and the most communication between you and some party members that allows you to, you know, hold areas and basically dominate an objective point. You don't necessarily need to be playing for clan wars, but, you know, keeping the possibility of your XP generation to its maximum is one of the best bets that you can do. Now, obviously, if you're, you know, don't just play to level up, play to have fun. You know, the game is about having fun, so... We you know, if you want to play in a five-man, six-man, and have fun, when you know, do that. But if you're looking to level up faster or you're just trying to get out of those opening ranks, these are five tips that will help. Now, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, have a good one.